Hey guys, we're back with uh, part 2 of the uh, Master Beef series, I'm going to call it, even though it's really not. Uh, if he sees this, I'll be quite embarrassed, to be honest. But there you go. Um, so, last uh, video, we left off with this sort of screen with the border. Uh, I'm going to place the uh, annotation over the uh, screen now, so you can go over that to learn how to make these, or the description will be in the link. I mean, the link will be in the description. <laughs> I've gone ahead and created two others. So I've created one with a video of both of them are videos, but I've just put in a random video that I had in the past. And I've got some other stuff here. Don't even know what it is, to be honest. Oh, my MEP part for NSS. But there you go. So now I've created these three and I've put them and I've put them all in pre comps. Nothing different, just put to make a pre comp. What you do is select everything. So, this is what we had before like click, pre compose, and you can do that. But I've already got enough. So, also, sorry about that if you're hearing my roommates, they're a bit loud, but there you go. Um, so, I've created three and I've put them into here into a main composition. Just put this, put this down a bit so you can see a bit more. This up. Yeah. I've also put this back to a third just because when we get to the big 3D stuff it'll start slowing down so I thought we'd just do that now. Anyway, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to take the cylinder. That's it, I'm not going to show you anything more. Um, and you're going to need, uh, it's going to be a, a third party plugin by uh, Red Giant I'm pretty sure. I don't know which pack it's in but it's in one of the packs. Uh, PM me if you're having trouble finding it. Um, I have links. Uh, yeah, so just PM me if you need it. So now I'm just going to turn these two off for now and just show you how to do it with this one. So we got these modes and switches. Four, you probably have it on here, which is what I made you do last time. You either click down here again to go back to switches or press F4. And I'll bring you back. I'm going to turn all these layers into 3D. I'm going to select the layer. I'm going to go to Window. I'm going to go to uh, Cylinder Creator. Like I said, um, that it's in Window. It's not in. You're going to be in your effects and presets. I don't know why Red Chain decided to do this, but they've done it. It's not in your presets and effects. I I got stressed out with that for a while, thinking, where the hell is it? Where the hell is it? But there you go. Anyway, so the, you got all these options here. It'll bring you up to this window. It's going to be small. You do just expand it, so just expand it. So it's just going to simple few things: equator and leaf. Create a layer with a ring. I'm going to put repeat layers, and I'm going to make. This is up to you. You can make it 100. You can make it. Well, I don't know. There might be a limit, but you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. I'm going to make about. 12 just because we like being 12 and press scale and that will keep your uh, thing scaled up to scale it won't it'll make sure the uh, aspect, aspect ratio is right and that's it now we press apply you'll see something like this and also you'll see this particular layer has been duplicated many times that's just it, it's going to be duplicated there. I mean, I think you can put that into another pre-composition, but I'm not going to do that for now. I think this is fine. The next thing we need to do to manipulate this is we need to create a camera. So layer, new, camera. Or you can memorize this, but I just never memorize that. 15 millimeters is, I mean, it's fine. I think this is the standard one you always look at. So just leave everything as it is there. And so now if we press C on our keyboard, or we can click up on here, unified uh, camera tool. If you click down, you've got all these different ones, or you can cycle through with C on your keyboard, so you'll see it change. And so now we just want to go to this one and zoom out. And there you go. Now, we sort of manipulate it with another camera tool. 
you can see the sort of ring thing we've created now. And this is pretty much exactly what Monster Beast did. Um, if you did it a different way, I would honestly have no clue how he did it, but um, I would imagine so he did it through this. I mean, yeah, I, would, I, wouldn't, th I wouldn't think there would be any other way to do this. But hey, Monster Beast proved me wrong. I'd be so embarrassed if he said anything. Like, yeah, this is wrong. Anyway, whatever. I've created the ring now. So now I'm just going to do this with the other two quickly. I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to quickly do it. Should only take me minutes. Oh. Sorry. You'll notice they go into the same position, don't worry, we'll move them afterwards, move them up and down. Okay, so we should have all our things done. Oh, I need to have the door busy. God, I think I did it one too many times. Yeah. Control Z is your friend, guys. Control Z is definitely your friend. So now I'm just going to select all these comp ones. That's all the layers that, that was um, this particular layer. And we just want to bring these up. So I'm going to set the normal mouse button. Or press, you can press V on your keyboard. And I'm just going to up them on the Y. I would never suggest doing it just like this because it doesn't do it right so I just select just use these they've got them there for a reason so, and bring these up and this is all going to at the same time as long as you've got all the layers selected so we've done that so next I'm going to select all the composition cues and bring them down just select multiple at once by the way so I select the first one and then hold shift and go down to the last one and it will select all the layers in between. You probably know this but just have to say it I guess. I guess someone did ask. So yeah. So we've separated the layers and we've got it nicely running. If you just go along you can see the two ones that I have videos on. They're actually running. I don't know why this one actually turns off, but I'll deal with. Uh, I'll have to deal with that in actual layer. But as you can see, these are still running. Now, if we turn these around, they all turn around at the same time. But you don't have to do it individually. Just zoom that out a bit. And Master Beef, he had like tons of these, so uh, you would have so many different compositions. I mean, if if you ever download his um cube. Yeah, his cube uh, template, damn, that's some epic stuff there. I wanted to re reverse engineer that, but I mean, I'm finding a hard time to understand what he's doing. I'll look at it another time. Yeah, so this is pretty much how to make, make the rings. You can make as many layers as you want. So you could put like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 layers if you want. And you can zoom out and be like crazy, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So in the next uh, tutorial we're doing animation and that will be it for this uh, particular thing and then I'll be moving on to some other stuff uh, I've been getting a lot of requests from Ivan about the typo so I'm going to take a video that I like and I'm going to show you how that particular typo was done and hopefully I'll give you insight in how to do typo in a way and I don't know what else I'll be doing in the future. There have been some other requests that I will get to. I'm thanking you guys for the requests, the few of you that have done it. I'll also be looking at some like, audio syncing Twitch beats and stuff. That will take I mean, 10 minutes to record. That's fine to do. It's just a few of these things I have to like make all these things beforehand just to make sure I know how to do it and then only then can I make it. Anyways, 10 minutes. 
See you guys in the next tutorial.